Hello, welcome to Drawing with Steam with Miss Carter. Hi. As always, remember, draw light till you know it's right. You're just drawing this for the first time or second time. It won't be perfect, but you can make it look really good. So today, inspired by my nephew, we're gonna do a dragon. Hi, Davis. I'm even wearing my sweatshirt that says, my squad calls me auntie. All right, so we're gonna start with the body. I want my dragon to be the big focus of my picture, and then maybe I'll put a castle and a scared knight in the background. So to do my dragon, I'm gonna start with a half a circle. A big curve like a rainbow. A stick across. And I need to make sure I have space over here for his big long neck and space over here for his tail. Okay, so for his head, where do I want his head? Do I want it more back? Do I want it more forward? It's gonna be a half circle as well. So a rainbow and a stick across. Then you're gonna connect the corner of this half circle to the other half circle. And then you're gonna connect the whole corner of this half circle to this half circle. So if you want him to have a big fat neck, you go straight parallel to this line. If you want him to have a neck that gets skinnier at the top, go in a little bit. And if you want it to be a little bigger, you can just draw your line out. And then later when you color it in, you won't be able to tell. But I liked it looking pretty thick, so I'm gonna add it over there. Okay, now let's get our legs started. We're gonna do four triangles. I already have the line right there, so I just need two more. Oh, it's almost like a letter V. I could have just thought of it as a W. Two diagonal lines, two diagonal lines, W, V, W, whatever helps you. Okay, then you put some claws. Mm. I think I'll thicken those up later. All right, so for the tail, if you want the tail going up, you'll draw it up. I'm gonna draw mine more down towards the floor. So I'm gonna curve my line out. Then I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna curve and match to right there. I like to do a ghost draw first, where I pretend I'm gonna draw it. I get my muscle ready. A little too skinny, just right. Ooh, a little too big, so I think that second one. Yeah. So it looks like a dinosaur right now. I think I need to make it look a little more dragony. So I think for a dragon, I need a spiky tail. So I'm gonna draw a triangle at the bottom of that tail. And then I'm gonna put some spikes all the way up the back and all the way up the neck. So for spikes, you just do a triangle. If you did the drawing with ocean animals, it's kind of like the spikes you put on the seahorse. You can make them big, get bigger on the bigger parts of the body and smaller on the smaller parts of the body. You can keep them all the same size. It is your artistic decision. We'll come up and give one final one. It kind of looks like a horn. Okay, and then we'll do, I think my dragon will have some little a little wing. So I'm gonna draw one line up and then another line up kind of going in towards it, but it can be parallel. I'm gonna draw one wing this way, one wing that way. Do a rainbow, a rainbow. Near, 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 near. Ooh, it kind of looks like a sickle, what they used to farm with the wheat. Okay, and then I'm gonna do like a curvy M. Curvy M, down to the bottom. And do a curvy M into the side. Ghost draw, all right. Oh yeah. Okay, and then for the face, for the line, I'm gonna do a stick, and then I'm gonna do a half circle, but the other way, but not all the way to the edge, because we're gonna make it look like it's an angry eye. And then, like that, add a little color in the side. And then for the mouth, I'm gonna do a straight stick with some Sharp teeth, a little nose, 
and then I want some fire to come out of that. So I'll draw it in green for now and I'll trace it over with red later or smoke with gray. So I'm gonna curl it around, curl it around, curl it around. Ooh, my fierce dragon. Good. Is it fierce because it's hungry? Or is it fierce because a knight is trying to poke it? Okay. Let's do a simple castle in the background. I'll just do it with gray. So I'm gonna make it, castles are really big, but if it's far away from the dragon, it would look really small. So I'm gonna do a rectangle in the middle, going longer sideways. I'm gonna do two rectangles on the sides, going taller. That's kind of how you imagine a castle, right? Okay, and I'm gonna put a rainbow, the big drawbridge entrance, a square, and then you know castles have that little design at the top. So to draw that, instead of doing a do 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 up down up down, I'm just gonna put little squares inside of here. And then later when I color in, I'm just not gonna color in that part. Okay, and then they have the turrets, which are almost like a triangle, but then it's round on the bottom. And I'm gonna color over that later. And there's a little flag saying, who lives there? I need my line for the drawbridge. And then they would shoot arrows out of it so they'd have these little slats. Stick, stick. Okay. I don't think we have enough time to do a knight for this drawing. We're just gonna add some details Oh, yep, there's the timer. We're going to add some details and some coloring, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Color over any mistakes, then you won't even know they were there. I hope everybody had a great time drawing a dragon and a castle. Thank you. Thanks for the idea, Davis. You can keep this on and color with me or turn it off at any time. I think I'll add some blending and some scales. Maybe for scales, I'm going to do that you, 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 you. You, 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 oh yeah, you, 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 you. Yes, I like that detail. The back of the dragon looks like a turtle. Maybe I should decorate it like a turtle. Since dragons are mythical creatures, you can make them whatever color you want. I made mine look more like a dinosaur in the dinosaur family. Okay, I will finish coloring this. I hope you had a great time. Let me know if you have any more ideas. Thanks for drawing with Steam with Miss Carter.